Hey guys. So, like I mentioned last night, my vision was getting like blurry as I was watching the game. And I don't know if it's the antibiotics or what, but it just, it's kind of odd how it just, it's getting really bad. So, I actually have glasses. I don't ever really need them because it's a very slight, slight prescription. And I honestly, I really got them because my ex's dad was an ophthalmologist and he hooked it up. But yeah, so it's like, it's just like a slight prescription. It just, for the most part, makes everything a little more like HD. That's how I describe it. And really, it's just for distance. It's not for up close. But even stuff up close looks a little better. But yeah, these glasses are like seven years old. That's why the frames are so tiny and this used, this used to be the cool thing. Tiny frames. But yeah, I should probably get an eye exam soon and get an updated pair. I don't think I'll need them forever. I, I have a feeling that it, this is the increase in blurriness is due to the antibiotics from what I've read online. So hopefully it resolves itself. If not, then I will need new glasses. Yeah. And I know some people are like, oh, it's just age. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> Age doesn't cause your vision to go blurry like that, like in a few days. You know, it's something that I would have noticed uh, over time. I would say I first noticed it probably like maybe three days ago. I remember we were watching the game at my sister's house and it just was no bueno. But what really makes me think it's the antibiotics is when I got closer to the television, it made no difference. So that makes no sense. But I feel like wearing them right now is like, I don't know, I feel like it's allowing my eyes to rest a little bit. I don't know, like it just feels a little a little better because last night I had a really bad headache and probably because of the blurry vision. And I think I, you know, I must smush these glasses one day because they went crooked and I can't seem to fix them. Oops. Anyhow, so I wanted to share some stuff with you guys. I got my Ipsy glam bag. By the way, I have nothing against people that wear glasses all the time. I just would prefer not to be one of them. It's not that I don't think I look good with glasses or whatever, it's just one more thing I need to be responsible for and carry in my purse and make sure I don't lose or break or whatever. So this is what the bag looks like. It kind of reminds me of Makeup Forever logo. I know it's not identical to it, but it seems pretty heavy this, this month. This volume up, sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, so this month, Ipsy Volume Up challenges you to fiercely express yourself, be seen, be heard, shout your message from the rooftop. Okay, so first item is from the brand Hey Honey, which I have gotten stuff from before, but I think it was through Glossy Box, and it's a mud mask. It talks about a mud mask. This is what's making it heavy. It's from the brand Delectable. It's a triple, triple moisture body lotion in the scent Coconut and Cream, which is disgusting. I hate coconut. Trust Fun Beauty nail polish. I've gotten a nail polish from them before, I believe. Oh, this is a cute color. In the shape, what's a budget? I don't know. It would be nice if someday brands weren't constantly trying to capitalize on this like idea of being a rich kid. Trust Fun Beauty and the, the colors, what's a budget? I would love for someday for us to be like promoting a more positive way of life because that's just like feeding into the consumerism. I don't know why I always want to say douche. I always want to say douche beauty. Mad Slash Polymizer Mascara. I know that's not how you say it, but. And then we've got from the Balm, Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush. So, for this month. Last month was amazing. I knew it wasn't going to be as good as last month. I knew it. I recognize all but one brand. But when I say I recognize, it's not because it's a brand I've discovered on my own and already love. It's because I've gotten them before multiple times. So the only brand that I know and love is the Balm in this collection. Just because I recognize it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. Not that it's a bad thing either, it's just the way that I kind of judge the value of a bag. It's like, you know, you want to get things that you know you're going to love because they're from brands that you love already. You just also want to get stuff that you want to try too. So I would say this month, not that great. The bag is cute though. All right, so the crookedness is driving me nuts. So I wanted to show you guys, I know I talked about the nail polishes. They actually arrived yesterday, so I wanted to show you guys the shades that I got. The other thing I looked up is Formula X is actually three free. So there's three free, five free, and seven free. Seven free obviously being the best. So seven, let's say like free of seven of the bad ingredients. So three free is 
it doesn't have like three of the worst, which is good. So I can still use this nail polish base. So first up, I, first up is the brand Pacifica, which is a seven free, which is ambitious and 100% vegan and cruelty free. So I've got just like a clear coat and that gloss is a top coat and a base coat. So here we have the shade Pool Party, Drift, Summer Fling, Pink Moon, Pale Eyes Blue, Chance of Clouds, and Turquoise Tiara. So I believe one, one or both of these, I can't remember, but one or both of these I got for buy one, get one 50% off. So a fairly good deal. The other brand I got, which by the way, I believe I read somewhere that OPI is a three free brand, but I, is it OPI or is it Butter London? Or is it both? Hugo, I'm trying, I'm trying to chat here. And he's like trying to fluff up a bed that can't be fluffed up because it's flat. It's a flat bed. Hugo. Hugo. So the other brand I got, oh my God. The other brand I got is Zoya, which is a three free. I chose them among some of the other. Hugo. Hugo. I just put him outside for a little bit because he was getting crazy. The other brand I chose is Zoya, mainly because I've never tried this brand before. And I've heard great things about it. And there are three free, so not the best, but not the worst. I wish that Ulta categorized or had a way of kind of filtering the results to be three free, five free, seven free, just so that it's easier to find because I only found out that this was a three free because I clicked on the actual brand and then it says it in their little description. So this shade is Carrie Madison, which I don't know, this seems like it's gonna be sheer. Easton, Bridget, Lake, Caitlin, Rue, and Hazel. So as you can see, most of the colors I chose were pretty basic, safe colors, mainly because like I didn't want to just buy a bunch of crazy colors, which is what I did last time that I got all those nail polishes that I end up having to declutter a bunch. Plus, I still have some of those crazy colors when I want to do something like that. But I just wanted colors that I know I could grab for and I will always like and will always kind of look nice. But these brands do offer kind of crazier colors. So I am in the process of getting ready for work, which pretty much means getting dressed and getting my snacks together because I'm not putting full face of makeup on. I have no desire to feel like caca. So, yes. I'm heading to work. I will see you guys later. So I'm home. It's my time. A lot later than I should have been. So, we're gonna end this vlog. And I'm gonna go to bed. Because it's a long day and I don't feel good. I did not feel great. So I will see you guys tomorrow.